What's up guys? So I just got home from work and uh, came home to a package in my uh, my back door or back doorstep, whatever. And it's been really annoying waiting for this because FedEx messed up several times. It went to Chicago and then somehow ended up in Pennsylvania when it was supposed to be in Minnesota. And it got delayed like four times. I don't know. I don't know what FedEx is doing, but finally got it. Week and a half later. Um, this is for the G8, and I've been wanting. This is another thing I've been wanting for for a very long time. And we're gonna go ahead and open it. Here's the box. I'm gonna break free these straps. This is uh, a cosmetic mod for my car, which I don't have many cosmetic mods done to it. Just, uh, it's lowered a little bit in the front. Uh, I put a black arrowhead on the front bumper. Uh, I got an HID kit on it from Morimoto. And it's tinted. I guess it's a cosmetic mod. Um, aside, oh, it's got wheel spacers, but aside from that, really nothing. Uh, this is gonna be... A job to open it. There's so much tape on this thing. I suppose it's a good thing. Hopefully, with all the hands it's been through, it didn't get damaged in any way. I mean, there were several fragile stickers on this thing, so I would hope that they handled it with care. But you never know. Seems people like people don't really care anymore. There's a lot of stuff holding this together. <sighs> very, very well packaged, I'll say that. Definitely took his time. Alright, well, we're almost there. Oops. Breaking the box, not the tape. This is a little bit of work to get open. I should just use a knife to, <laughs> to split the tape. That would have been a lot easier. But I can be stubborn. Go. Yeah. And now it's stuck to my hand. By the way, um, I've got another mod that I'm gonna be doing to the G8 this uh, winter. And it's gonna add more power, which it needs, with how heavy the car is. All right, I have it open. I am so excited to get this on. Oh, oh wow, it even, it even came with some double-sided tape. Wow, sweet. We got some more tape here. Um, by the way, this is from Eric Tao. So for you G8 guys, I'm sure you have a good idea of what I have. Um, but Eric Tao is a very good aftermarket supplier for parts for the G8s and Chevy SS and maybe GTO. Bubble wrap for later. Oh, we got more tape. I wonder how much tape he goes through when he has a bunch of orders to fill. Does he do it all himself? Who knows? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is sick. Check this out. This is a complete carbon fiber spoiler for the G8, a duck bill. Uh, definitely bigger than the factory one, way nicer looking. I know I put fingerprints all over it, but uh, I'll clean it. God, dude, this is sick. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. 
Uh, now uh, I am, before I start filming this, I had just started taking off the stock spoiler, which is kind of a job, um, but not too bad it seems. Get that off and then I'm going to clean this and prep it to install. Should have it done in the next hour. This is going to be sick. I will, uh, as soon as this is on, I will uh, finish the video with that. Okay guys, here it is. This is sick. It looks way better than this factory one. And from the side, it looks huge. I absolutely love this thing, dude. It makes the car look way more aggressive. And it pops really well with the red. That looks really good. This is exactly what my car needed. Now all it needs is a carbon fiber front lip. Yep. <laughs> this is... Gosh, it looks so good. Definitely worth the money. Oh yeah. I can't wait to get this thing out next year to car shows and stuff. And get the the front skinnies to match the drag wheels in the rear. And it'll be perfect. Well, thanks guys for checking out the video. Stay tuned for more content because there will be more coming. Happy Thanksgiving to you all.